Hey, so let's learn about using the follow me tool. Okay, you've explored circles, shapes, rectangles, you've explored in this push pull tool set using the push pull tool to pull a circle into a cylinder. Well, you can do different things with circles as well. This second tool is the follow me tool. We're going to use that to, as this demo suggests, follow a shape along a path of your choosing. So let's start with drawing a new circle on the ground, orbit up so that your circle's flat on the ground, and just draw a circle of any size. In fact, let's keep practicing commanding the size of these things and draw a circle and call it five feet, five apostrophe. You'll see it change right down here in the bottom right. Five apostrophe, enter. That's a five foot radius. But what's the diameter of that circle? Bonus points. Um, now zoom in on that circle. And what we're going to do is get down low enough on this thing that our next possible circle we could draw is forced to be up in the air. And for some reason, this isn't allowing me to find center. So if you can't find center, this is a great um, way to figure that out. Take the line tool, the straight line tool, go from any edge, draw it to the middle, and there's the center. Now go back to the circle tool. If you were having a problem with that or your computer wasn't showing you where center was, here's a way that you could figure that out. Now I know where center is and I draw a circle. And then I can use the eraser tool to get rid of that temporary line that helped me find center. So everybody should be at this point where you have a flat looking Saturn type collection of circles. Now the follow me tool, go to the follow me tool. It's the second tool in the push pull tool set. You're going to follow this flat X axis circle around the path of the vertical Y axis circle. And it's going to leave a trail of itself all the way around. You can stop it wherever you want, but if you want to make a sphere, get back to where you started like this left click on this flat circle and follow it along the path of the inner one. Don't come way out here. It doesn't know what your intention is as easily as if you're on that red line. And if you go all the way around, You'll have something like a Pac-Man shape, but as you go, boom, right back to almost where you started, it closes it up with a bunch of stripes. You'll either see a bunch of stripes or some other collection of what looks like a solid object. Let go with the left button and you're left with a sphere. Cool. There you go. A sphere that is how far in diameter? Ah. Now, let's zoom out a little bit and draw another circle here in the grass next to our sphere that will also be five feet radius, five apostrophe, enter. And this time, orbit down low so that your next circle you're about to draw is gonna be on the edge, on the edge of this circle. And the lower you go, the more it forces this thing to kind of draw it up in the air. Pull out a little circle on the edge like that. What do you think is going to happen when we follow this edge circle around this flat path. Yep. You get donut or ring. There you go. Or raft, life raft. And then you can take the select tool and select this inside area and delete it and open up your ring. There's your ring. Now, if you make a bigger circle, it's gonna be a big fat donut. Smaller circle, it looks more like a ring that you might even wear. Okay, so there's three different types of circular form.